I hope, yeah, I hope it's just one take. <laughs> Alexander, what do you ask of the Church of God? Faith. What does faith, faith bring you? Life everlasting. everlasting. Michael, what does thou ask of the Church of God? Faith. What does faith bring thee? Life everlasting. Rebecca, what does thou ask of the Church of God? Faith. What does faith bring thee? One of you, what does thou ask of the Church of God? Faith. What does faith bring thee? Life everlasting. Alan, what does thou ask of the Church of God? Faith. What does faith bring thee? Life everlasting. If thou desire to enter into life, keep the commandments. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. Go out of him, thou unclean spirit, and give place unto the Holy Spirit prepare thee. Go out of him, thou unclean spirit, and give faith to the Holy Spirit the parable. Go out of her, thou unclean spirit, and give place to the Holy Spirit the parable. Go out of her, thou unclean spirit, and give faith to the Holy Spirit the parable. Go out of him, thou unclean spirit, and give place to the Holy Spirit the parable. Receive the sign of the cross both upon thy forehead and upon thy heart. Receive the sign of the cross both upon thy forehead and upon thy heart. Receive the sign of the cross both upon thy forehead and upon thy heart. Receive the sign of the cross upon thy forehead and upon thy heart. Receive the sign of the cross upon thy forehead and upon thy heart. Take unto thee the faith of the heavenly precepts, and be thou such in thy conversation, that thou mayest now be in the temple of God. Amen. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, Graciously hear our prayer, and keep with thy perpetual power this thine elect Alexander, this thine elect Michael, this thine elect Rebecca, this thine elect Guinevere, this thine elect Alan, who has been signed with the sign of the cross of the Lord, that they, observing the rudiments of the greatness of thy glory, may by keeping thy commandments be worthy to attain unto the glory of regeneration through Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, vouchsafe to look upon this thy servant, Alexander. Vouchsafe to look upon this thy servant, Michael. Vouchsafe to look upon this thy handmaid, Rebecca. Vouchsafe to look upon this thy handmaid, Guinevere. Vouchsafe to look upon this thy servant, Alan, whom thou hast been pleased to call to the rudiments of the faith. Drive far from them all blindness of heart, Break all the snares of Satan wherewith they have been bound. Open to them, O Lord, the gate of thy mercy, that being filled with the sign of thy wisdom, they may be free from all evil desires, and in the sweet savor of thy commandments may joyfully serve thee in thy church and prosper from day to day. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I exercise thee, O preacher of self, in the name of God the Father Almighty, in the charity of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. I exercise thee through God the living, through God the true, through God the holy, through God who created thee for the protection of mankind, and commanded thee to be consecrated through his servants for the people that should come to believe. But in the name of the Holy Trinity, Thou who he made a saving sacrament to put to flight the enemy. Therefore we pray thee, O Lord our God, that thou would sanctify the blessing, that thou wouldst bless this creature of salt, that it be made to all who receive it perfect healing, abiding in their members in the name of the same, our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall come to judge the living and the dead and the world by fire. Alexander, receive the salt of wisdom. Of your mouth that it may lead to life and for mercy unto life eternal. Amen. Michael, receive the salt of wisdom, that it may avail unto thee for mercy and for life eternal. Amen. Rebecca, receive the salt of wisdom, that it may avail unto thee for mercy unto life eternal. Amen. Guinevere, receive the salt of wisdom, may it avail to thee for mercy unto life eternal. Amen. Alan, receive the salt of wisdom. May it avail to thee for mercy unto life eternal. Amen. Amen. Peace be with thee and with thy spirit. Let us pray. 
O God of our fathers, the God, O God, the author of all truth, we humbly entreat thee that thou would vouchsafe mercifully to look upon this thy servant Alexander, that thou would vouchsafe mercifully to look upon this thy servant Michael, that thou would mercifully look upon, vouchsafe mercifully to look upon this thy handmaid Rebecca, that thou would mercifully look upon this thy handmaid Guinevere, that thou wouldst vouchsafe mercifully, mercifully to look upon this thy servant Alex, and thou wouldst suffer them no longer to hunger, now tasting this first relish of salt, to the end that being fulfilled with heavenly food, they may ever be fervent in spirit, rejoicing in hope, ever serving thy name. Lead them, O Lord, to beseech thee to the washing of the new birth, that they may come with faithful, thy faithful to worthy to obtain unto the eternal reward of thy promises, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I exercise the O unclean spirit, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. I exercise the O unclean spirit, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. I exercise the O unclean spirit, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. I exercise the unclean spirit in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I exercise the unclean spirit in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. That thou go out and depart from these servants of God, Alexander, Michael, Rebecca, Guinevere, and Alice, for he himself commands the accursed and damned one who walked with his feet upon the sea and stretched forth his right hand to Peter as he sank. Therefore, accursed devil, acknowledge thy sentence and give honor to God, the living and the true. Give honor to Jesus Christ, his Son, and to the Holy Ghost. And depart from this servant of God, Alexander, Michael, Rebecca, Guinevere, and Alan, for as much as our God and Lord Jesus Christ hath thou safe to call them to his holy grace and benediction, and to the font of baptism. In this sign of the Holy Cross, which we set upon his brow, do thou, accursed devil, never to violate the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the sign of the Holy Cross, which we set upon his brow, do thou, accursed devil, never dare to violate through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And this sign of the cross, which we set upon her brow, do thou, accursed devil, never dare, never dare to violate through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And this sign of the cross which we set upon her brow, do thou never dare to violate the accursed devil, to violate the same through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And this sign of the cross which we set upon his brow, do thou never dare to violate through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. I entreat thy eternal and most just mercy, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and everlasting God, author and light and truth, upon this servant of God, Alexander, upon this servant of God, Michael, upon this handmaid of God, Rebecca, upon this handmaid of God, Guinevere, upon this servant of God, Alan, that thou would vouchsafe to enlighten them with the light of thine understanding, cleanse them and sanctify them, giving them true knowledge but being made worthy of the grace of thy baptism, they may hold firm hope, right counsel, and holy doctrine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Alexander, Michael, Rebecca, Guinevere, Ellen, enter into the church of God, that thou mayest have part with Christ unto life eternal. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and he sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory and dreadful, and the dead, who came and shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who 
proceedeth from the Father, whom the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I exercise thee every unclean spirit. In the name of God, the Father Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, our Lord. In the power of the Holy Ghost, the thou depart from this creature of God, Alexander, Michael, Rebecca, Guinevere, and Alan, which our Lord hath that safe to call unto his holy temple, that they may become the temple of the living God, that the Holy Spirit may dwell therein. Through the same Christ our Lord, who shall come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by fire. Amen. At Theta, that is to say, be opened as a savor of sweetness, but thou, devil, flee away, for the judgment of God that draweth nigh. At Theta, that is, be opened for a savor of sweetness, but thou, devil, flee away, for the judgment of God draweth nigh. At Theta, that is, be opened. For a savor of sweetness, but thou, devil, flee away, for the judgment of God is nigh. At Theta, that is, be opened. For a savor of sweetness, but thou, O devil, flee away, for the judgment of God draweth nigh. At Theta, that is, be opened. For a savor of sweetness, but thou, O devil, flee away, for the judgment of God is nigh. Alexander, dost thou renounce Satan? I do. Dost and all his works? I do, I do, I do renounce them. And all his pomps? I do renounce them. Michael, dost thou renounce Satan? I do renounce him. And all his works? I do renounce him. And all his pomps? I do renounce them. Rebecca, dost thou renounce Satan? I do renounce And all his works? I do renounce And all his pomps? I do renounce him. Guinevere, dost thou renounce Satan? I do renounce and all his works, and all his pomps. Alan, dost thou renounce Satan? And all his works, and all his pomps. I need the oil of the catechism, which is the oil of the Nope, that's good. I anoint thee with the oil of salvation in Christ Jesus our Lord, that thou mayest have eternal life. Amen. I anoint thee with the oil of salvation in Christ Jesus our Lord, that thou mayest have eternal life. I anoint thee with the oil of salvation in Christ Jesus our Lord, that thou mayest have eternal life. I anoint thee with the oil of salvation in Christ Jesus our Lord, that thou mayest have eternal life. Amen. I anoint thee with the oil of salvation in Christ Jesus our Lord, that thou mayest have eternal life. Amen. Alexander, dost thou believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do believe. Dost thou believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born into this world and suffered for us? I do believe. Dost thou believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do believe. Michael, dost thou believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do believe. Dost thou believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born into this world and who suffered for us? I do Dost thou believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? 
Rebecca, dost thou believe in God the Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth? Dost thou believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born into this world and suffered for us? Dost thou believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? Guinevere, dost thou believe in God the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? Dost thou believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born into this world and who suffered for us? Dost thou believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Alan, dost thou believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Dost thou believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born into this world and who suffered for us? Dost thou believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. I, do I exercise thee, O creature of water, by the living God, by the true God, by the holy God, who in the beginning, through his word, divided thee from the dry land, whose spirit moved upon thee, who commanded thee to flow from paradise, who commanded thee to water the whole earth with thy whole rivers, who in the desert by wood bestowed upon thee sweetness when thou wast bitter, that men might drink who brought thee forth from the rock, that he who might refresh the people weary with thirst, whom he has delivered out of Egypt, I exercise you through Jesus Christ by his only Son, our Lord, who in Cana of Galilee by a wondrous miracle did change thee through his power into wine, who walked upon thee with his feet, who was baptized in thee by John of the Jordan, who brought thee forth, though together with blood from his side, and commanded his disciples that they should baptize the, them that believe, saying, Go ye, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That thou mayest be made holy water, blessed water, water that washeth away stains and cleanseth sins. I command thee, therefore, every unclean spirit, every phantom, every lie be rooted out, and flee away from this creature of water, that to them who shall be baptized therein, and may become a font of water, springing up into life eternal, regenerating them unto God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And in the name of the same our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by fire. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, who to sanctify spiritual waters, we humbly entreat thee that thou would vouchsafe to look upon this ministry of our humble service and to send forth upon these waters made ready for the washing and purifying of men, the angel of holiness, to the end that all the sins of their former life being washed and their guilt cleansed, they being regenerate may be worthy to be made a spotless habitation for thy Holy Spirit. Through thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who livest and reignest in the unity of the same Holy Spirit. Amen. this font be sanctified and made fruitful by the holy oil of salvation, for such as shall be born again therefrom unto eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the inpouring of the chrism of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit paraclete be wrought in the name of the Holy Trinity. Amen. May the commingling of the chrism of self sanctification and the oil of unction and the water of baptism be likewise wrought in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Change the one soul.
tender. So you go like this. Inside side. Alexander, would that be baptized? I will. Sit back. I baptize thee, Alexander, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good job, Xander. Step out. Good job. Okay. Michael, hand the book to somebody. We might need to get that wet. Good job. Yeah, sit down. Michael, will thou be baptized? I baptize thee, Michael, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who's the doctor? Did you? Oh, you? Okay. Rebecca! Rebecca, would thou be baptized? Sit down. Rebecca, I baptize thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Whatever. Will thou be baptized? I will. I baptize thee, Guinevere, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alan, will I be baptized? I will. Alan, I baptize thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Okay, don't change. Now we've got. Go back. Where's the altar? 